Let's do another problem from section 4.4, which is L'Hopital's rule. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over natural log of x. So if you try to use direct substitution, you notice that we have an indeterminate form, infinity minus infinity. So... What we're going to do is this. We're going to rewrite this as a quotient. What you want to keep in mind is that L'Hopital's rule addresses either a zero over zero situation or an infinity over infinity situation, one or the other. So if we have an indeterminate difference or an indeterminate product or an indeterminate power, we have to somehow rewrite it as a fraction. So, we have to write this as a quotient somehow. So, we'll get a common denominator. So, again, as of right now, I'm not using L'Hopital's rule yet. I'm doing algebra. So, the common denominator is x minus 1 times the natural log of x. So the numerator is going to be what? With this first fraction, what was missing was the ln x. And the second, what is missing is x minus 1. So again, we're still doing algebra. Okay? We're not doing calculus yet. x approaches 1 on the right of the natural log of x minus x plus 1 all over x ln x minus ln of x. So what we've done is we've rewritten our indeterminate difference as an indeterminate quotient. Now as I Try to let x approach 1 from the right. Let's see, ln of 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So the numerator is going to be 0. Okay. The denominator is also going to be 0, right, because ln of 1 is 0. So what we have is a 0 over 0 situation. So we're going to use L'Hopital's rule right now. So we have follow what you meant, but so we're going to differentiate the numerator and we're going to differentiate the denominator. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x and the derivative of negative x is minus 1 and of course the derivative of 1 is 0. Now, we're going to have to use the product rule. The derivative of x times ln x is going to be ln x plus x times 1 over x minus 1 over x. So what happens now? x times 1 over x, of course, is 1. As x approaches 1 from the right, it looks like we have 0 over 0 again. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule, hopefully just one more time. Hopefully that will be enough. Okay. So we now have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of, well, let's see, the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, 
x times 1 over x is 1, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of negative 1 over x is plus 1 over x squared. So, now if we use direct substitution, I think we get a result. The numerator is negative 1. And the denominator is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So this limit is negative 1 half.